The asConst keyword in TypeScript is the most powerful keyword. There, I said it. Let's first see when you need it and then at the end of the video, possibly one of the coolest use cases for this keyword. And let's start with one of my favorite use cases, which is array destructuring. And you're gonna see why this is so beautiful. So let's take a look at a very basic use state implementation we could do in React or Self, where we take in the initial state. Let's just say that's a number. We initialize our state and then we also, of course, need the state setter, right? There's the state and there's the set state that we return later and inside of the set state, we can simply receive the new state and set the state accordingly. The point being, we can now return in the array both the state and the set state. The thing is, if we left it like this without using the asconst keyword, you're going to see what happens. Because in the function itself, the types are correct. We have the state and the set state. While the set state is the actual function we expect it to be, so is the state the number that we expect it to be. But when we now go ahead and actually use this state and set state is going to be equal to use state and let's just set this to five, you're going to see the problem because the state, unlike in the function where we declared it, where it was just a number. Now it is actually inferred by TypeScript as either a number or the set state function. And that's pretty bad because essentially what it means is now we can't set the state to anything else like five or 10 because this function could actually be a number and a number we can't invoke like this like we can with a function. So what is the solution? Well, you can probably guess it's the as const keyword because with the as const we're telling TypeScript this array will never actually change. Meaning now the inference, if we take a look at this, is actually correct. It's the state as a number and it's the set state as the function that we expect it to be. Meaning now we can actually call the state setter because essentially we're telling TypeScript by adding the as const that this array will never change in length and it will also never change in content, thereby allowing TypeScript to correctly infer the types right here. Now the cool thing is if we have an array of colors, for example, there's going to be red in here and there's going to be blue in here. Right now we can also push something into the array like yellow as you would expect of course because the colors is typed as just a string array. But if we add the as const, you're going to see what happens. We are going to get an error because TypeScript has now defined our array as read only. The inference up here, as you remember, only works because we're telling TypeScript this array will never change in length and never change in content. Therefore, any operation that would change the length or the content is not valid on the array anymore. And now here's one of the coolest use cases for the as const keyword because it allows you to prevent errors while you write the code. We're going to define a type action where essentially we want to get access to either of these properties, start, stop, or pause. That is pretty simple. We can get the type of actions at a certain key. Essentially, all that means is now we have the start, stop, and pause as a separate type. Now we're going to make use of a switch statement. This is where we're going to see the beauty of this, all right? And we're going to have three different cases, one for each. So for each action, start, stop, and pause, we're going to handle that in the switch statement. Now, we're not going to do any logic here. We're just going to break. But the important thing is that we handle every single case start stop and also pause and here comes here comes the kicker all right the shocker we can define a separate default case in which we cast the type of the exhaustive check as never and this is equal to action this is the typescript magic i'm talking about if we forget any case right above here we are gonna get a typescript error right away. Type string is not assignable to type never. So TypeScript does a lot of magic. And if it sees that we're not handling one case, then it also knows that this variable could be a string and we don't want this to be a string. So it throws the type error. And that's not at build time. That's not at compile time. That's like while you write the code time. And how cool is that? And by the way, TypeScript released their 5.4 version with a completely new utility type like a week ago. If you want to go check that out, do it right here. The type is pretty neat. And then I'm going to see you in the next video. Have a good one and bye bye.